think you've seen it all. You ain't seen nothing yet. I like this guy. And what it is, is he's just going to talk a little bit about the worm inside the armour. It's something that me and Christian have done. And it's kind of seeing this, I just wanted to add a bit more to it. Me and Christian tried to find out more information about what the worm meant. Because it's obviously a symbol. But when you see that, say, in the 11th century, they were, I'll just show you what they were walking around in as armour. From about, from about the sort of 11th century or something, they were wearing armour like this, which was meshy like and so a lot lighter to fight in and it seemed to serve them because they were wearing it for such a long time. So no great big clumpy bits of armour when they were wearing this and it obviously saved their lives because they were wearing it for a while. And then the next thing is, we're given armour like this with very weird places for the eyes to go. Like this wasn't built for pleasure. This would have been much heavier than the mesh and much harder to wear. You know, uh, me and Mickey were doing about the prisoner that had the mask on and it could have been that it was Louis the Second's twin brother actually who had the mask on but they're talking about how uncomfortable it was wearing a mask well this is a suit of armour I mean I think I have wondered <clears throat> maybe they had suits of armour like this when they were jousting to protect I mean I wondered whether they were for jousting then they'd only have to sort of be sitting on the horse, <clears throat> hold out their spike, and just about be able to see the enemy coming because they're not on the horse for very long. That's the only thing I can think, because why would you go from mesh like, like this one here, let's go over here, this kind of meshy stuff that protected everybody and everybody wore it for a few hundred years, to wearing something like this? And then, when you get there, we get the worm in the armour. Although, would you believe it, this is inside somebody's body. I don't even think there's armour on that one. But these ones, the worm cult. Oh, worm. And there it is again. The person doesn't have a head. They have a worm in there. I wonder what it really means. Worm night images. Hmm. And those are in humans as well. Worms. Aha, the next video he's going to use this one and this one in his video so yes whoops oh dear sorry it's jumping let me follow it all or maybe I was taking my eye off of it ah. So he's saying they're petrified animals. Well, that does look a bit like a human lying there, doesn't it? Wow, that one. Wow. They don't look so nice, do they? But, um, yeah. Peru. Not quite worm, though, is it? Swords, medieval, 
complete and total evidence of worm knights and the reptilian ruling families. Well, there you go. That's what they think, reptilians. Just like the video we're just going to play. Anyway, Christian and I wondered what it all was because you can see these worms in armour, mostly. But in this one, we found them to be just inside. Well, they haven't got armour on, have they? But uh, what's your thoughts to what you think worms are? And uh, made for Christian, because obviously you've talked for months about, yes, but I don't, want, I don't want to know more about the worm. But you can't really find that much. There was a chapel in Florence, and it made your show what was hiding in certain knights' armour. Did you know that certain knights was never seen without their armour? They would even sleep in it, and you would never hear them speak. And when it came to the females, they would have no direct contact. They would get the female to put teardrops into a handkerchief and have it given to them indirectly. What kind of freaky thing is this? They would also get their fellow soldiers to pour water into their armour all throughout the day. What kind of reptilian thing is this? Now let's be realistic. What kind of human could wear this night and day? It's not even practical. How could he even see, let alone fight? To wear this helmet, your eyes would need to be in your forehead. Who remembers Earthworm Jim? I think they was trying to tell us something. And I think they was trying to tell us something in Game of Thrones. Because that guy was no longer human. I mean, just look. To wear this armour, your eyes need to be lower than your nose. Your arms need to be lanky. And you need to have crow's foot. Sometimes we just can't spell it all out, but you've got to read the signs.